Okay, now it's the time for the magic. Take my metal sleeve here. Careful. Okay, I've completely separated my coffee. Got a nice little cup here. Take my silicone lid. Everyone will be jealous of me today at work. <laughs> for pumpkin time? Yeah. All right, I just got back from work. I gotta get all this stuff outside for pumpkin time. Let's go. Alvidasen! All right, it's pumpkin time. I'm gonna put this mummy here, and that's gonna be the pumpkin. In the meantime, Ben's gonna be pumpkining over here. Uh, first things first, cut this thing open, get all the guts out, right? Someone coming down the stairs. Dirty. It was the werewolf, and I was glad that he came, as I had been Tasty lucky. bit. I'm gonna do it right here. Basically, I'm doing this so I don't have to go and prick the spots and then lose the overall image. I'm gonna stick it on, let it dry, and then I'm gonna go line by line, taking the uh, taking the face off. Okay, so what I intend to do is I'm going to make my my carving first, and then I will go back over it and hollow it. Okay. If you want templates like these, I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description and uh, you can go check them out. It's really easy. This, you'll be able to do this in, in probably less than a couple of hours. The trick is the spray adhesive and this paper. It makes the whole thing really, really easy because all you're gonna do now, go around with your carving knife and, and score the areas. Gray is just take the skin off. Black is, is a deep carve. And then you come back and you, and you remove the inside of the material and you keep checking it with the light until you get the right light and effect that you want. That's all I just do it. All the really complicated pumpkins that people do is, is all based off of this basic, uh, this basic principle. Just make sure you go through all the little grooves of the pumpkin, get it scored really nicely. So first I need to change the bit on this. This is not gonna work for us. I'm gonna use my Dremel tool to free my Dremel tool bits. <laughs> There's one. There's two. Don't ever do that. I'm gonna use this carving bit. Rip off the skin when we get there. The trick of this is high speed. High speed. So carefully with your carving knife. All right, so light gray, it means just remove the skin. Put your Dremel on high speed. Bite his balls. He bit his balls. I bit the werewolf's balls. He bit his balls. There's an awful lot of hair down there, he bit his balls. and now an awful lot of blood as well. My hunger wasn't sated; I needed more. I heard a stomping footstep on my upper floor. Coming down the stairs was the Frankenstein monster, and I thought, mm, I'm gonna bite his balls too. He bit his balls. I bit the Frankenstein's balls. He bit his balls. They 
tasted like formaldehyde. He made his balls. Cause they were in formaldehyde. He made his balls. Cause the Frankenstein monster is dead. Some people said, go bite the mummy's balls. And I was like, you kidding me? The mummy? Gross. Those are going to be dried up like raisins. I don't <laughs> Okay, got a nice dusting of pumpkin parts. It'll dry though. <clears throat> got a little pumpkin spice in my beer. Here. So, all I've done is, is taken off just a little bit of the surface skin. What I need to do now is, is thin out the walls of this pumpkin. It's still way too thick. So to do that, to make it really fast, time to employ my hook knife. Look at this baby. This will go right through this pumpkin. No part of it. So I said, no thank you. No mummy balls for me. So I walked out. I thought, let's have some more. What's another creature that I could score? And sure enough, from under my sewer went kabloom. It was the creature from the Black Lagoon. I bit the creature's balls. They're tiny and they're very hard to get at. They're hidden well under a pair of scales. I wouldn't recommend biting his balls. I think we're pretty much there. I can start to see the pumpkin rippling when I... It's great. Okay. Now I gotta finish up the eyes. Time for the night to close, but before it was over, one more of those creepy creatures of the night came down the stairs. It was the Dracula, and into my mouth he was ensnared. I bit the Dracula's balls. He bit his balls. But guess what? Now I'm a Dracula. He bit his balls. I didn't think this plan through. He bit his balls. Dracula blood makes you a Dracula. Oh no! I'm a Dracula. There's my pumpkin. Let's see if I can get this off now. Uh, I was a scientist. Now I'm a Dracula. Blah, blah, Dracula. I bit all of their balls. He bit their balls. All the classic monster balls. He bit their balls. Not a single ball went unbit. He bit their balls. I bit all of those fucking balls. So for all of you that are going, that doesn't look like anything, you wanker. Well, let me show you inside. Ha ha! Uh, what now? What say you now, those who called me wanker? The internet? Why did the internet call you a wanker? Just now. There you go. Just a couple of tips for Finishing up your Dremel pumpkin, use the Loctite or the spray adhesive on the paper. It makes the whole thing work a lot easier. Use the cutting bit, I believe it's a, either 151 or 191 in the Dremel bit catalog. It's the cutting bit, it works really good. You can get the smaller one if you want for doing detailed work, but I used it for the entire pumpkin and that came out fine. And the last step is the Dremel itself. The Dremel is a very high speed tool. You need to run it at its high speed and you need to move continuously. Always have a direction. Try to move rather quickly, but don't move so quickly that you screw things up. And that's my piece of advice for using the Dremel as a pumpkin carver. It's very easy. It's a little messy because you do end up spraying your arm and all that with uh, with pieces of pumpkin. Are you doing a seance in there? Yeah, I'm uh, conjuring up the mummy here back here and talking about Dremels. All right, talk to you tomorrow.